Greetings everyone, Willa Lema Shant here with your tarot reading to awaken your consciousness for Wednesday, March 27th. So I hope everyone is having a great week. Here we are, the middle of the week, hump day. Um, I hope everybody is working on their journey and having a great time doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start shuffling the cards and we'll see what the Divine Source has for us today. What kind of guidance she can give us today. Okay, so I pulled our three cards for us, and the first card today is the Page of Swords. Now, the message I'm getting from this is to not be a child, to think before you speak, and the words that you use will connect you to the right people. This is a time of beginnings. So you might make some new acquaintances. You might get some good news about something spiritual that you've been waiting to hear about. Um, the page is generally the messenger card or the new beginning card because it's the start of something. So when we have the page of swords, we have to think about communication and how we think. So if we can think before we speak, and we learn not to be immature, but to be mature, we will get a lot further in our journey. Um, you need to be able to talk to the elders, to gain their wisdom, to connect with like-minded people, get out there and start networking. Don't be afraid, okay? That's the start of your day. The second card she gave us is the reversed fool. Well, if we are the fool, we're going to make some foolish decisions. But if we're reversed, it says we still may have to take some leaps of faith. And maybe it's a little little scary, um, a little edgy. But you'll think it through before you do it. So it kind of goes along with the first card about thinking before you speak. Well, what about thinking before you leap? So it's really about maybe connecting with your guides, thinking about what's really right for you. Um, should you do this? Shouldn't you do this? Is it gonna help you grow on your journey? So think about anything that you might be trying to do something brand new, like a new start in your life, a big project, anything like that. Maybe you wanna start a, a community kind of gathering um, for like-minded people. Whatever this is, it could be really big. You may end up having to take the leap of faith, but make sure you're thinking it through before you jump, okay? And your third card for today is the reversed three of wands. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer to get where we wanna be. But when we have the three of wands, it reminds us of being patient. When we are patient, our ship will come in. Our goals will be met. We will reach the goal. We will reach the level. We will reach our awareness of where we want to be. But you have to be patient. It doesn't happen overnight. I think I've told you that before. Spirit has said it before. Divine Source has been saying it for a long time. Be patient. This is a great change happening in our world right now. And it is a scary time, but we have to work together. We have to be courageous. We have to have our strength and we have to believe in ourselves and to know that our divine source and our spirit guides are around us and they're not going to let us down. We just have to be patient. So let's just overview for today. 
Page of Swords. Try to think before you speak. Get out there and network. Start new things. Talk to like-minded people. Might have some good messages coming in as well. Think before you leap. Don't just think before you think, or think before you speak, but think before you leap as well. When we do that, it means we've thought it all through, and then we have to take that leap of faith. Even though we thought it all through, it could still be a little scary. Okay? And our third and final card is the Three of Wands reversed, reminding us to be patient. When we are impatient, we are sending out those ripples of energy and pushing our goal of enlightenment away. We may do that also with maybe our lower energy, like our anger or our worries and our doubts. But you have to be patient and you must believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in the divine source and your spirit guides to help you. You are not alone on this journey. Just remember that. Now, if you're seeking a personal reading, you can find the link to my website, willowlamashant.com, below in the description of this video. I'm always welcoming anyone who wants me to send Reiki, Divine Source Healing, to them on Sunday nights. Please send me a message. I've gotten several people's names that want to be added to the healing list. I am welcoming these names. People feel this energy, the Divine Source the Reiki is being sent to you from the world, not in the universe, not just me. I'm just the wiring. I'm the conduit sending it out to you, but it comes from up above. It comes from the higher levels, the higher realms. So just remember that if you want to be added, go ahead and send me your name via Facebook, Instagram, or through my website. And until next time, be blessed.